Hey guys, Qui-Gon Jake here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. So, we've moved along a few years, and we have paid off our entire loan. And so we are 8.2, 8.3 million in the black. Um, and that's a problem, because it's, you know, my money burns off. They're burning a hole in my pocket so let's uh let's go ahead and fix that as you can see we have a lot of people waiting here at flag south flag staff station 133 trying to go to phoenix should have a train arriving any second now i can hear it coming down the tracks ah there she comes there we go i've had to have two trains going between flagstaff and phoenix so i got barbara and then i have this train which i haven't named yet uh let me know what you want for names but otherwise Let's get spending. All right, so first things first, Flagstaff has expanded. They now desire bread and fuel. Now, not a lot of bread, but enough bread to the point of, hey, we can start taking all the excess bread that's being stored up here and ship some of it to Flagstaff and Flagstaff's growth will explode. The difficult part is going to be getting the resources uh, there as again it's a long trek. What I'll probably end up doing is make a new line going from the Baker family farm all the way down to, with Francis. Uh, I have four farms here, way too many farms. Um, but I just need to get the, the grain transported from here to here. So the Phoenix Wheaties Company. So what I might end up doing is grab our pumpernickel boy bread. Pumpernickel bread boy, pardon me. Get a simple little tr uh, uh, route, grain route, to Lower Phoenix's transport depot. Um, grab the grain, bring the grain in and then shuttle the grain off. I might either add a second train or I'll just add on a second diesel and four grain wagons. That's probably what I'll do. Um, let's go ahead and get started with that. So we're gonna get the initial, we need only one on the right. We're on the left, how about let's do the left. That looks good. Cause I wanna do that. And then we're going to go ahead and connect this with the streets. Uh, that's going to end up becoming a major road at some point. So let's go ahead and just do that. Sure, that works. And then we'll need to make a new line from Phoenix North to Lower Phoenix. Let's have you get off on Station 1, just like that. And then this, we'll keep it the nice hot pink. Why not? Let's see, it's a pretty crowded road. Like that's a lot of vehicle traffic. If I were, just for the sake of argument, to upgrade this road, how much would that cost? One million, two million, two and a half million, plus it would bulldoze all these buildings. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it. Technically, I could actually have the trucks drop stuff off at Center Street, because Center Street is connected to the Phoenix Halt. Let's see, what if I were to take this road, take it all the way over there, that's only one destruction, and then we'll put this here. I know it won't be as realistic, but it will be more efficient. There we go. Yeah, I like that. It won't be taking nearly as much of a lag. Because of the bus stations here, which is a lot of buses waiting, I might make a waypoint here just so that our trucks go this way. And then they curve off here. Since they're, that way they don't get stuck waiting for the bus. Same way over here. Oops, wrong one. On the way back, there we go. Try to keep away from this 9th Street, which is a lot of people looking for the taxi. Where's our nearest taxi? Here it comes. It's busy, busy, busy. So, got that, that's good. I'm gonna then go ahead and, when you arrive, I'm going to get, ahead, get to the grain, 
going. So let's go ahead and play you for right now. Yeah, with Flagstaff growing, and it's odd that Flagstaff before Temecula, Temecula has just been struggling um, to be getting enough people. Flagstaff just barely eat them out, but that's all it takes. That is all it takes. Yeah, and we got lots of passengers going that way too, so that's good. That's good. Let's speed up along until our diesel boy arrives. Because then, only then, there we go. Manage him, add on. I could electrify it. How much is that guy? 12.5 million. Oof! That's a lot of money. 13.5 million. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh,. Add the four gondolas, and then add another one of these guys here. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and grab some of our boots. Opals. Let's get six of them. Send them to the new route. That'll get some grain. Extra grain going over to the Phoenix Wheaties Company Depot. I'm looking over here. Still making good profit. A lot of tools. There's just a lot of stored wood too, however, which means that Flagstaff... I really need either Phoenix or probably Temecula. And Temecula's dropping in citizens now. Um, I need them to go up, not down, in terms of um, population. It's a shame, because I, if I could get tools, Temecula could be getting tons of tools as well, and she would explode in growth. All right, grain is slowly coming along. These guys are going to probably struggle to get their cargo in first time. Actually, now let's put a big one here. There we go, because we could end up having lots of grain waiting. So good amount of passengers looking to go throughout the town. That's good to see. That is good to see. I might preempt a bridge here. I know this is really not at all relevant to what we're working on, but too much collision, eh? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Not the biggest concern right now, anyway. So I got the grain. This one is bringing back 31 bread. That's fine. Oh, because they can, they're driving in reverse. Interesting. I would not have expected that. Is there a driver back here? There is. Well, that's cool. All right, and we have grain here. How much grain do you bring back? Only seven. It'll go up. It'll go up. You'll be fine. But yeah, grain will be a good thing to add here so that we can start sending it to Flagstaff. Now, the big question, how are we gonna get it there? There's two ways that I can see this going. One is making a whole nother line, just straight all the way up. Or, alternatively, the second way is to connect it to the lumber route and have that go up to the tools factory and then have the bread and the tools being shipped over to Flagstaff because they both go in boxcars. And these guys are not taking full loads. Oh, this one, this time it is, but this guy is not going to be taking a full load. That might actually be the, the better course of action to do. So if I were to do that, that means I would need one of my trains that takes grain, probably this one. No, it would have to be this one, Granny Granny. I would need to expand you to also have uh, boxcars. So you would need a major upgrade. Then I could take your route and see 
if I can connect it to this one. Or, alternatively, I could have it simply connect around here. This can be a really long, uh, maybe a bit too long of a, of a, of a detour. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a bit too long of a detour, but let's see. Boy, she just has a hard time climbing this. She starts so in the hole here. Uh, elevation change is nasty. Yeah, what I could do... This would be a little bit of a weird combo way of doing stuff. Also, I'd have to destroy these fields. That would suck. Ah, oh, that would suck. Are you taking full loads? Nearly. Oh, I don't like this, because if I try to make another platform, there's no way I'm not going to be... Well, no, it's possible, actually. I could potentially get away with it. So this would just be a two-platformer. Yes, I can. Whew. Okay, that's good news. And then just in case, I'm going to add a third track here and here. Then, this would be a very roundabout way of doing stuff, but I will not be deterred. The only thing is that we have this line connected here. I need to connect it in the other direction. So let's go ahead and have this guy offshoot. Like that. And then we'll have this line be on line one so that you have the freedom to connect. Just like that. And this would be just another simple diesel route. I would be able to have one of those cheap diesels, probably no more than four bread, but that means I would need to upgrade this train. Because having a Mikado is great and all, but it won't be able to add on extra boxcars. Even with another uh, loco pushing at the back. What this will probably require will be a total rehaul of the locomotives. It will require a 412-2. Good news for us in that sense is that she has excellent climbing ability. So she will be ideal for this. Well, why is it only a top speed of a oh because I'm using I'm using tiny box cars, that's why. If I had five box cars of food, she still knocks that out, out of the, just completely out of the park. The only downside is I would need to extend the stations. So like for example, to make this one would need to be um, yeah, we would need to expand the station. Because she just won't, it should be way too big. Mm, what am I going to do with that? I'll let these guys pass. We'll have them pick up their load. That way I don't lose out on the lumber. And then once they leave, I'll then manage the station. Or, alternatively, what I could do, now they left the station, I could change this road network here to just basically be straight and hook out over here so that this simply becomes this. That would then allow me... Whoops, I'm going to need to connect these back up because the vehicles are going to be like, hey, we have no point of contact. And then what I'll do is I will delete this, add a new cargo building platform, 
here. Delete this platform. And then I will expand this platform out too. And then go back to the platforms. That, that, that. And then I can then place. Sweet, there we go. Okay, can't do that one there, that's okay. And then that there just for the sake of argument. And then I will need to delete this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because I won't need them that big. But this still connects everything. Very nice. All right, so I can do that. Then I can manage this vehicle. Once they drop off their stuff, I'll upgrade that train. So in the meanwhile, this is going to take some money. Let's go ahead and get back up to 10 million in loans. That should be a good start. And perfect, granny granny. It is time. You're also, you are old. <laughs> you are as old as a grandmother. Let's go ahead and give you some new life. So you were a 10 wheeler, you're being promoted to a Mikado. Get you going with the eight. Eight, and then one, two, three, four, five box cars. How is your power rating? Could be better, could be worse. Let's see. Three minutes. You don't have any elevation changes. So at the moment, I'm okay with this. I, my, well, my, well, that's only half true. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. She's a long train, though, is the only thing. I may have to expand the Phoenix uh, cargo platforms. Because it's uh, she's going to be longer than the station platforms could otherwise handle. Okay, so... We have, sweet, we already have grain getting delivered. Excellent, excellent. How much grain is still here? We're still taking four full loads. That's great. So I've got that. So now bread will be delivered from Granny Granny. That will be delivered here to the Odun Farm Depot. And then, um, let's just call this the little engine, engines that could. That's what we'll call these guys. We'll let them head up there. Sweet, here's Granny Granny. How fast are you going, Granny? 46. And that's a long load. That is a considerably long load for a Mikado. And she's pulling it well. Very well. Okay, so now, before I forget, I need to get a new diesel. Cargo, you only are going to need about four boxcars. I can't imagine you needing five. So you are going to do a new line from Central to the Odun Farm Depot. Because when this guy's bringing in bread, you need to be bringing the bread over there. It is going to take some time for that bread to catch up, I think, on the route. Because it's not quite there yet. We might need more than four grain cars. We'll see. You guys... Actually, I might upgrade you now. Although you're not going to really be the little engine that could anymore. <laughs> you are going to be the big engine that obviously could. <laughs> which doesn't sound nearly as catchy. 12 million, only 5 more. Just lost money. Um, boom. Boy. <laughs> we'll just keep that for the meme. The little engine that could. Yes, indeed it could. She still has great power. She'll still go 50 miles per hour on a high slope like this. Although this is more than just a high slope, this is a this is more than just a medium slope. This is a high slope, but she'll still pull this better than any other train could, at least right now in our arsenal. So now, honestly, you might only need three box cars, because 
Yeah, I don't think you need, f you don't need four. They're gonna be just too expensive. So now we should start seeing bread lining up for Granny Granny's transport. Corvette Courier's doing fine. There's Granny Granny. She's already up to 46 miles an hour. Yeah, she'll be fine. It's relatively flat land here. I do like this crossing section. It's a very nice, very nice and busy way. The trains are getting longer, which is exciting. This is very exciting. So you're going to need more lumber eventually. Here she goes. That one's another full load of tools. All right, let's see. When do we start getting bread? Or granny, granny. Yay, there we go. There's our first piece of bread. Granny, granny. Hello, dearie. You know what I could do? This would be a little bit of a... This would be, this would be totally non-relevant. And it would be entirely... It, you know, the trains automatically turn around, but if I wanted to, I could make this an actual loop so that it doesn't just plop around like that. I know this is irrelevant, and I know I don't need to do this, but part of me is just like, but what if we did? You know? What if we did? Eh, what's the hurt of just building it? We don't have to use it. Yeah, that would really be an... I'm so conflicted here. It's like, I would love that, but I really don't need it. <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. We'll come back to it later if I decide to actually uh, do this. But regardless... Yeah, the bread route's going to be difficult, mainly because they're... it's the slow turnaround. It's such a slow turnaround, and there's such a slow demand in Flagstaff. However, once demand kicks off, I really hope that things will start to improve. It might, it might not. We won't know until we get, until we find out, though. Yeah, there's some more grain. You have some bread there. You don't have any bread still. No surprises there. Page tools depot. Wood, we're doing fine. As we're delivering 100% of the wood from the not so not quite petrified forest. Uh, let's see, I got another lumber route out here in Mesa, but it's gonna it would take a lot for it to get there. And again, I don't need the extra lumber yet. Are you a full on tools? Not quite. This thing just it needs more people, it needs more destinations. Page. I mean, it might be a really good idea to head to Flax, uh, to head to Mesa. I mean, they need tools. It's just that that's a long way. Is Phoenix a one-stop? It is not. Oh, I had to bulldoze through some industrial. And what's a what's some what's what's some destroyed roads between France, Phoenix, right? Am I right? Although I would have to destroy this. Probably. Um. Phoenix would also need to expand into a three to uh, co accommodate that many platforms. Um, but, mom, 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 do I pull the trigger on this? Yeah, I think I will. I don't know if I can. The elevation is steep enough where I might be able to make a t uh, like a bridge. Let's go ahead and delete all of this. Grab Phoenix. I may also need to. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't need this. So let's delete this. 
this and this. Oh yeah, I already have the road vehicle. Never mind. Delete this. And then let's configure you. We'll need at least well, we don't really need another station platform at the moment, but I do need tracks. I do need to increase the tracks both ways. Uh, that, and that, and then one, two, three, four. That, and then that, and that'll be fine. So, let us now. <laughs> Poor little person just floating in the air. Ah. Let's go ahead and get the tracks extended. Mm. It's like tall enough to where the bridge it won't make a bridge. So how low can I make the terrain? This will be expensive. Back up to 20 million in the hole. But this will be worth it, I think. All right, so that is the, where the water the water table is. So let's raise you up just a hair. A little more than that. There we go. Okay, now will you build a, a bridge? Still no, <laughs> really. Why, why you gotta do me like this? This is more than enough room. going on with this road. Looks a little wonky, but let's see if you'll do it now. Nope, you are just being difficult. Well, that's annoying. Because that means I'm going to have to make a, 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 a crossing. And I really don't want to do that. But, beggars cannot be choosers sometimes. That's 100,000. a gradual incline cuz let's see how we're really high up on this Phoenix plateau like it doesn't really go the rail great does not really go down for a while yeah it's a bit of a long long decline, but we'll do this, keep it at 110 on our way to Mesa, oh, before I forget, there we go, there's that, although now we have a 55 mile an hour split, that's not helpful, okay, we need to redo intersections here. Put that guy there. And then you. I might even... No, no, I'm, I'll be fine. Whoops. Forty miles an hour. There we go. That then gets that connected. We just have line two. What's line two? What, what's your problem? Yes, you can. What are you What are you complaining about? Line two. I'll have to come back to you in a little bit. Wait, I can't do a tunnel, can I? Nope, that's a solid nope right there. All right, we are going to need to extend this just for now. We'll have
have this go all the way to the station section. Okay, this is not going to be pleasant of a crossing. Yeah, this will not be cheap either. Okay, now we smooth this. And now we need to... Okay, is that level? Yes, it is. Excellent. Delete you. And then do that. And then... There we go. Level 4 grade crossing. That's a lot of crossing to do. But it will be useful. Aha! And this figured itself out now. Great. Alright. I might let it play. Now I gotta make this. Let's get this thing finished for today's episode. So we don't need that. 73,000. Let's see. How's our elevation change? We do have a bit of a. Huh. We have some interesting terrain coming up. It'd be fun to kind of have it curl along the inside of this canyon, but it would require doing an expensive bridge or tunnel. Eh, you know what? Let's, let's have some fun with it. This might be a very terrible idea. That's actually not as expensive as I thought it would be. It's not cheap, mind you, but uh, go right here and carry this along to Mesa. We're just going to have two lines, high speed, no catenaries. Wow, actually, Mesa's really big. I did not realize just how big it was. Um, let's. Put it here. Delete this road. Grab this configure. Add two of these. Two of those. I don't think I'm going to need the second station, so I'm going to cut this down for now. That, delete that. And then. Well, she is going to cut. That is definitely not going to uh, <laughs> end well if we have to go past that. I don't think we will, though. Mace is an end node. So if anything, actually, I should probably have put the station over there. Eh, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. It'll be fine. I'll redesign it later if I really, really, if it really irks me, which it probably won't. Let's see. So. Wow, that's a, that's a rough incline there. Oops, I was wondering why I wasn't curving. And then have you curve on down. And now you should be able to link up. Wow. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. Let's get you... Why are we... What is going on here? There we go. Boom. Alright, so that is Mesa now connected to Phoenix. Let's go ahead and get... Actually, no, I need to do this. Then we get the little building. I was thinking about maybe doing electric, but uh, it's just not there for me yet. Yeah, and it would also be heckin' expensive. But we are so going in the red. 
30 million in the hole. Whew, that's a, that is as much as we can go on the red. Wow, okay. This had better pay off or I'm really going to be straight out of luck. Um, let's just get the Atlantic with three passenger streamlined New Mexico's. 7.62, okay, that's good. That'll leave me some buffer. Not a lot, but it'll leave me some buffer to uh, in case something goes really topsy-turvy. Boy, that's a long route. That is a very long route. Uh, I wonder if the Zephyr would, the Zephyr would be a much, if I can afford the Zephyr. Because it'd be the same the number of people, isn't it? 52 for 54. Yeah, just 100,000 more. This would be an excellent run for the Zephyr, I think. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's just a very massive decline after a little bit of a hill raise, but that's okay. All right, so I think with that, that is going to do it for this episode. We shall ride along with this. We're going to just name this one Zephyr. I don't know how you spell Zephyr. Is it Y-R or is it Z-Y-P-H-E-R? it say? C-E-P-H-Y-R. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oops, I guess I do need to connect this with the streets. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. I do need to flatten the terrain. I will make room for another street here. Can I just get away with chopping one down? Yes, I can. Wow, where did I get eight? Where did I get nine million from? That's nice. Someone must have really come in big. Okay, let's. That looks weird. <laughs> I appreciate you doing that for me, the uh, Mesa, but it looks really weird. Your face looks really weird, Granny. I've been sick. Uh, and your mouth doesn't move when you talk. Ugh, plastic surgery. Granny's had a lot of work done. All right. I don't know how busy Mesa's gonna be. Like, I don't know if I need a bus terminal for this or not. I mean, it's not really got the space for it. So, we've got residential out here. We then have commercial, really two bits of commercial. We've got commercial here and then industrial here. And then more residential, kind of a mid zone here. So what I'll do is I will, let's see. Um, what if I did this to this, then this to this? And made this the, this would need to be a green. This would be the Mesa. Might just do MS, MS for Mesa. Mesa bus route. And then another line from here to here as the taxi route. Mesa taxi. All right, and then since I already have a depot out here, let's go ahead and get um, three of these guys for the bus. And then we'll buy two more of the Schneiders, coloring them yellow. Let's make sure these guys have high maintenance and get them the taxi route. Perfect. You guys, maintenance. There we go. Where's Zephyr? Holy cow, Zephyr's already almost there. How fast is he going? 82. 
I wonder if he's had places that have slowed him down, or if he's just not gone up to full speed. 132, 127, 160. No, it just takes him a while to get up to full speed. That's kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. I expected more. Anybody wanting to go to Mesa? No one yet. No one yet. That will change, though. To be Phoenix to Mesa. Phoenix. Mesa passenger. Eventually we'll get some some traffic. There we go, our first passenger, our first three passengers wanting to go to Phoenix. So that is gonna do it for this episode though of Transport Fever 2. We were able to really expand our uh I wonder how she's doing actually. Have we gotten bread yet to flag in the meanwhile? No, no we have not. Or if we had, it's been such a small component. Are you carrying any bread with you? One. Uh, that's a lot less than I was hoping to, to find. <laughs> uh, this is such a small percentage, it may not have been worth it in the long run. Although we definitely need more grain. Oh well. Alrighty, well, that is going to do it for this episode of Transport Fever 2. Hope you guys did enjoy. We made some great progress in getting more rail service to Mesa, while also getting more freight options delivered for Flagstaff. So we're going to end here on the not so little engine that could. Uh, she chucks down the tracks, just chugging on to pick up more lumber. But until next time, this is Kawaii on Jake, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.